What's up guys, Ninth Jim here, back with another VGC 2020 Pokemon Sword and Shield competitive video. Today we're going to be talking about the Galar Friendly number 7. They changed it from Galar Weekly to Galar Friendly. Um, either way, I'm going to call it Galar Friendly in, in this video. However, this was a smaller event than usual. Usually their weeklies hit 200 plus players. This week it was only 137. Um, not entirely sure. I know that there was also the Rose Tower uh, VGC Open number 1 happening that... Uh, may have taken a, a good portion of players from that or from this over to that but anyway uh six rounds x1 cut so i think so anybody that went 5-1 and uh in better is in this graphic and uh yeah we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it so in first place we got bars with uh togedemaru oh uh you know what first off let's go ahead and shout out the boys vgc stats on Twitter, follow them. I'll leave the link down below. So go check them out. Uh, like this, retweet it, and uh, and yeah, follow them definitely. VGC stats, Zach over there doing great work for the community, making having this tournament, this free tournament set up every single week, and uh, the graphics set up every single week. Huge, uh, huge shout outs to them. That's such a great service for the community. If you want to play in these, I will leave the Reddit down below as well. That's where you can find the sign up for this. Um, at the beginning of the week, closer to the midweek to the end week. Um, also, you can find out their Twitter. So all of those links will be down below. If you want to play in these, then uh, definitely check that out. Um, anyway, first place, Bars. Togedemaru. Interesting. Great to see it. Uh, Togekiss, uh, Arcanine, Hydreigon, Conkledore, and Jellicent. Pretty sweet lightning rod from the Togedemaru, most likely. Maybe Iron Barbs, but probably lightning rod. And uh, it absorbs all thunder attacks electric attacks coming into the togekiss or the jellicent you just swap around and uh yeah just eat it just eat that up and then you raise your special attack which is pretty sweet so uh togedemaru gets to start to be a little bit more powerful has some really good stuff most likely uh physical attack instead of special attack so the buff doesn't really matter that much usually uh, but just taking that away from uh togekiss or jellicent is pretty sweet so, uh, yeah, good stuff to Bars getting first place here. I think he went undefeated, but no, he, he might not have. I don't know. X1, uh, XO or X1, he won out of top cut. So, yeah. Uh, second place, we got 1-2-3-E45 with a pretty awesome team. A lot of Hydreigon this week, and uh, when I say a lot, it's just first and second. But, uh, yeah, it predominated a very good bit. So we have uh, Hydreigon, Braviary, Rotom Heat, Gothitelle, Excadrill, and Mimikyu. Pretty good stuff here. Um, Modebreaker, Excadrill, we always see it. And uh, Gothitelle on a team that doesn't particularly enjoy Trick Room. Pretty interesting. Could be tr Trick Room in prison, actually? Maybe. I don't know if... Uh, I'm trying to think if Gothitelle gets it in prison. I think it does. Um, but yeah, good stuff. Uh, third place, we got Yoshi and, Lu and Lugia. I was about to say Luigi. Yoshi and Lugia with uh, Rillaboom. Interesting stuff. Tyranitar, not on Rain. Or, Rain. Not on uh, Excadrill. So, just Tyranitar. Rotom Wash, Chandelure, Corviknight, and the Dragapult. Chandelure, Flashfire, absorbing uh, any fire attacks going into that Rillaboom slot or the... Uh, Corviknight, pretty sweet to cover those weaknesses. Fourth place, we got Crystal uh, with the Gastrodon, Tyranitar, Arcanine, Mimikyu, Rotom Cut, and Dragapult. I kind of bumped around, <laughs> bounced around there. Uh, did it really out of order. But, yeah, good stuff uh, across the board. Pretty uh, more generic than, than most teams. We have uh, Mimikyu able to just stop that Trick Room, even set up a Trick Room mode with the Gastrodon. It's pretty sweet. Uh, fifth place, we got Nick, Sylveon, Chandelure, Tyranitar, Clefable. Interesting seeing Clefable. Um, we also have the Conkodor and Dusclops, a pretty good trick room mode there with the Conkodor and Clefable and Dusclops. Pretty sweet stuff there. And Chandelure potentially having trick room as well to be able to set it or uh, reverse it for the rest of your team. Um, or if an, if an opponent can really take advantage of it way more. And sixth place, we have Wist with the Mudsdale, Whimsicott, Vanillix, Haxorus, Milotic, and Cinderace. Pretty sweet stuff. Uh, love seeing Haxorus. Man, I'm shining right now with the sun right in my face sometimes. Um, but yeah, uh, Haxorus has Mold Breaker. Pretty sweet for killing things like Rotom. Uh, all these Levitate Pokemon running around. You just 
hit right through it with a, uh, I believe, high horsepower or earthquake, whichever one is the move of choice for uh, Haxorus. Pretty good stuff, though. Um, seventh place, we got the Aaron Trailer, first place team. Awesome stuff. Uh, might have been using the uh, the rental code. Might not have been. However, Charizard, Whimsicott, Togekiss, Duraludon, Conkodor, Jellicent. Very, very powerful team. It just got first to Dallas. Of course, it's a good team. Um, and then in eighth, we have Billy with the Tyranitar Excadrill. Still strong sand, sand ag aggressive combo. Still very strong. We have Arcanine, Rotom Cut, uh, Gastron, and Togekiss. A much more standard team than what we've seen on the rest of these. Um, but yeah, ninth place. Interesting team. Um, with the uh, Jolteon, Gallade, Inteleon, Serena, Whimsicott, and Dragapult. Really interesting. W like, for those Pokemon, you'll you'll see once at all at an entire tournament and he has all four on there it's crazy you never see jolteon gallade serena you'll see a little bit and inteleon a little bit but jolteon and gallade crazy so yeah good stuff man um 10th we have andy with the raichu the togekiss excadrill tyranitar combo we've also got the charizard probably gigantamax there's no way of setting sun other than it by itself it might be solar power and just self-setting with max flare and uh gyarados so yeah awesome stuff uh kev may we got the it's a pretty standard team comp for for this we have the dusclops riperior torkoal we have butterfree to complement that dusclops starting off and the gastrodon and the charizard pretty standard uh trick room uh trick room sun team really powerful though uh walsh we have the Mudsdale, Togekiss, Whimsicott, Rotom Wash, Hydreigon, and Ferrothorn. I feel like I'm off today. I feel like I'm off today. Sorry if I'm weird. Um, but yeah, good stuff. Another Hydreigon. Another Hydreigon after that in Boa's team as well. With the Hydreigon, the Mimikyu, Darmanitan, Raichu, Arcanine, and Gyarados. Awesome team. And then in Sasan, the last team that we have today is the Tyranitar Excadrill. Very powerful combo. Gastrodon, Togekiss, Rotom Cut, and the Chandelure. Awesome stuff. Chandelure Flash Fire really covers a lot of bases there. Um, we do have some usage stats today as well. I'm going to make myself a little smaller so you can see everything. Um, once again, shout outs to VGC stats. They're awesome. 43% um, on that on that Togekiss. Uh, makes sense. Togekiss is, has been the most dominating Pokemon for a little while now in this format in my opinion it's just so amazing it's such a great pokemon you can use it offensively or or supportively it's just so powerful uh tyranitar is pretty interesting to see at number two spot this is i believe the highest that tyranitar has gotten to you're seeing it a lot on sand teams with the x Ty uh, tyranitar combo however you're also seeing it a lot of the time just weakness policy by its own or even assault vest on its own just to uh, set up Sandstream, Assault Vest, you can't kill this Pokemon with any special attacking moves at all. It's really, really powerful. Um, you even see it sometimes Choice Scarved, just being very fast and uh, setting up Rock Slides really, really strong. Um, so yeah, awesome Pokemon. We have Hydreigon running really, really high this week. 35% of teams are using it, which is really, really solid because we haven't been seeing much Hydreigon. And uh, it's definitely picking up in popularity. Arcanine is a no surprise guy here. Excadrill is no surprise as well. The Conkdor, we've been seeing a lot more usage in the past couple of weeks. Uh, especially at Dallas being on first and second place team. And uh, a lot throughout top 8. And past, you know, entire top 128 had a lot of Conkdor. We're seeing a lot more Conkdor as the weeks go on. Great in and out of Trick Room. A great option against Trick Room teams. A great Pokemon in general just to be able to out a lot of things with not too many weaknesses. Pretty awesome Pokemon. Um, Assault Vest makes him insanely bulky. Flame Orb Guts makes him insanely powerful. You can really run this Pokemon either way you want. Uh, Gastrodon, 26%. That doesn't really surprise us. We haven't, ever since the Dracovish scare of early format, this Pokemon has barely declined in usage. And uh, yeah, still really, really strong at number seven here. Number eight, we have Mimikyu. Great Pokemon for setting and uh, re- taking away i don't know what, what word i was trying to say there but taking away trick room as well and uh just very very good pokemon in general really fast or could be like a decent mid speed if you in anticipate running trick room on it every single run um yeah whimsicott declining a little bit in play uh people are definitely running 
fake out on a couple of things and being able to fake out and then double into it is pretty really po pretty powerful making tailwind just essentially just denying their prankster pokemon entirely however this does let your uh their partner pokemon kind of open up and, and go in for some really good stuff but I think it's still worth it. Fake out and then a double into it is really powerful. We saw Gothitelle rising in popularity, has access to fake out, has access to all these moves. Really good uh, for dealing with Whimsicott. Uh, Dragapult really on the decline. Used to be like 60 to 50% of teams are using it. Now it's at 23, the 10th most used Pokemon. We even see Hydreigon almost doubling it in usage, which is very interesting. Rotom Cut uh, rising as the most used Rotom form this week. Very interesting. Uh, Chandelure rising in popularity with, with uh, access to that Flash Fire, very powerful mo um, ability. Covering the things like Rillaboom and the Corviknight on some sets, and then also covering um, potentially Excadrill, Whimsicott, uh, Pokemon like that, very good, and uh, and Durant is is we've seen it covering Durant a lot as well. Jellicent on the D, on the uh, incline, we see a lot of Jellicent now. Uh, I think Dallas Aaron Trailer piloting it to first place definitely had a big portion of that. And if you watch, and if you read his um his uh, team review after it, he said that Jellicent was a key Pokemon on his team, and I think that really shines and shows off that. Jellicent is a key Pokemon in the meta now, um, in a lot of people's opinions, not just uh, his or mine. This Pokemon is actually just really, really re relevant in the meta now. Um, we also have Charizard, uh, Gigantamax, and Solar Power. Both are very, very powerful, and setting up Sunny Day with Whimsicott or Torkoal, is just, it makes uh, for a really good time for the Charizard to just run amok. And uh, Rotom Wash has been quite on the decline recently, quite on the decline for a while now. Um, Bokum really showed it off. He he was on a very vast amount of teams in the, in the top cut. And then in Dallas, we see it declining a lot. And we're just seeing it very much so on the decline since then as well. Uh, Mold Breaker is really, or Mold Breaker Excadrill is very powerful. We even saw Mold Breaker uh, Haxorus this week, you know. Uh, Togekiss, why did I say Togekiss? Togemaru, uh, 13%. We see it on a couple of teams. That's pretty interesting. Uh, Dusclops is one of the more prevalent Trick Room setters along with Gothitelle following it just there. Uh, Mudsdale definitely on the increase as well. Uh, expect to see a lot of that. A lot of people are using the own tempo and, uh, swagger combo. We're seeing that a lot as well as, as along with the, uh, very powerful stamina build in general. Uh, Braviary way declined from past weeks however uh we haven't seen it in a, in, a, in a little while um just defiant being less prevalent in the meta in general you know uh gyarados pretty low pretty low down here at 11 percent gyarados likes to uh Gy gyarados is very strong pokemon we don't see it that much anymore raichu is similar to that tokenomaru pokemon just having the lightning rod being able to redirect all electric attacks into your Gyarados, Togekiss, Jellicent, and things like that. It's really sweet. Rotom Heat, all the way down here at 19. Uh, of course, this week was a smaller event, only 137 players, but still pretty, pretty, uh, not very sizable amount of these Pokemon. Rillaboom, 9%, and Corviknight. We don't see either of those Pokemon very much anymore. We saw Corviknight a good bit at the beginning. Uh, never really saw Rillaboom take, uh, take big names um anyway that is going to be it for today's video i just this was going to be definitely a shorter video since we only had 14 teams to look over and usage stats so everything is going to be linked in the description down below if you want to go check them out definitely do that definitely go show support to vgc stats and zach um they're doing great work for the community if you want to jo uh, join these events it's every saturday i believe some sundays just follow the twitter or Reddit, and you'll be able to know exactly what day it is. They'll say midweek if it's going to be Saturday or Sunday. It's only been Sunday, I think, one or two times, um, but it's relevant enough to say that it may happen on a Sunday. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for that's going to be it for this video. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like this kind of content, and comment down below if you want to see any guys. I'm going to try and get as many rental teams. Uh, we haven't seen. I think I've seen first place rental team. I think that's it so far. Um, so yeah. All right. That's going to be it. See ya.